Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today I'm going to show you how to be an investor in other businesses without any money. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pobert and I'm the founder of acquisitions.com. I'm also a partner in many other subsidiaries and holding companies, usually in the space of going out there, raising capital, buying businesses, M&A transactions and things like that. And I'm also sharing my journey in this channel and I also have clients where we have acquisitions university where we're just sharing with others kind of like best practices and then some of them eventually partner with us or just go and do deals on their own i have clients who bought three businesses in less than a year and if you want to learn more about that see links below this video you're going to see a free training of a to z how they're doing that how they have management team in place and how they're not really using their own money if they don't want to to buy those businesses and that's what i'm going to expand on in this video as well i'm going to share with you few thoughts and ideas on how you can do the same, how you can go out there, be like the guys on Shark Tank or Dragon's Den or Marcus Lemonis from The Profit without investing all or some of your own money. And I'm going to share with you ideas and what's worked and what didn't work. So one of the first things that you got to understand is that all the big guys out there, like if you're following Gary V who, or Grant Cardone or heck, some of the richest people in the world, look at Warren Buffett, those guys are raising capital. They're using OPM to grow their net worth. You look at Grant Cardone right now, he's brilliant. He's growing his um, net worth and his exposure and uh, I guess uh, access to people with other people money. He's raising a fund right now to um, finance his real estate transactions and it's brilliant. I think it's probably the smartest, one of the smartest deci decisions that someone with such um, influence on the social media world is doing. He's basically raising capital from all of his followers to buy real estate and increase his net worth. And even with Gary Vee, he, grow his, he grew his business. He, he initially raised capital to grow that business. So those people are not just using their own capital to do those things. Do they have skin in the game? Like I'm sure Grant Cardone is putting some of his capital as a down payment to some of these deals, or obviously he did it to begin with. I'm not sure what's the ratio right now between what he's putting and what, is, what his clients are putting or uh, basically investors. But obviously he's taking a percentage from whatever they raise. And I think it's brilliant. That's what the richest people in the world are doing. That's how Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett didn't start with billions of dollars. He raised the fund, he raised capital from people to then go and use him and his knowledge in terms of going out there and buy other businesses. And that's the first belief you gotta switch within yourself is the fact that you need to understand that no matter how rich you become or how rich someone becomes, it's not a smart decision to use all of their own capital into growing their net worth because they're not using a leverage from other people. And it's just a matter of cost of capital. Like if I can right now invest my capital and get an X return, most likely that I can get capital for cheaper from other people's money and just use leverage and grow much faster if I leverage other people institutions or financial uh, private uh, partners, it doesn't really matter. What you need to understand to become an investor without using your own money, it's about leverage and not just your own money, but your own experience, your own contacts. And that's why what Grant is doing right now, that's what Gary V uh, I did to begin with, or anyone out there is going out there and raising capital for their own business. That's what they're doing. They're basically leveraging their experience, their knowledge, their time in return for money that someone else is willing to put because someone else perhaps is willing to put money but he's not willing to put time and Gary Vee and Grant Cardone right now are willing to put their own time into if, if Grant is one is finding those real estate deals or doing the work in those real estate deals for other people they don't have that knowledge that Grant have so obviously it's a win-win scenario for everyone the investors are putting money Grant is putting his time and experience and it's a win-win for everyone everyone is getting something from those deals so in the end of the day, if you want to transition from someone who is an employee or a self-employee who got his own business and running the day to day and you want to eventually step back and become an investor, you need to understand that there is a process to that. And even in like the big guys, even the big guys out there who are kind of like investing in businesses, buying businesses many times, it looks like they're just using their own money, but it's not. It's money that they raise from other institutions or private individuals. Like even if you look at the biggest businesses out there, look at Facebook, Amazon, Google, they're out there investing or buying other companies, but they're not using the owner's capital from their own bank account, right? 
like Mark Zuckerberg isn't going to his own bank account all the time to go and buy uh, WhatsApp or Instagram. Facebook went out there and did an IPO to raise capital from the public to then use that capital to buy other businesses. And it's a win-win for everyone because the investor gets some kind of a return if obviously Facebook grows up. So the investor is getting some return and is not putting time, it's just putting money. And Facebook is going out there and using that money in terms of their expertise, their knowledge, their time to go and buy other businesses. And that's why Facebook now are the investors without basically using their own money. They're using other people's money to do that. And you can do the same just at a smaller scale as well. So if you don't have a business or you do, if you don't have a business, you can go out there and buy a business using other people's money. There are tons of structures that I'm working with my clients and I show them how they can do it without any of their own money. Is it always the case? Uh, sometimes, not always, that's definitely not always the case. But if you have money, it's a bonus if you want to put your own money. But if not, you can go and raise that capital from other people, from other institutions or private individuals. You can even structure deals where the seller of the business is the one providing the financing for the deal. Or there are tons of other value that you can bring to the table to get equity. There are tons of dif different structures that I'm teaching my clients on how to do that. And you can do the same and basically immediately become an investor in businesses, in deals. So remember, if you want to become an investor, you need to use leverage. And leverage isn't just money. It's about time. It's about experience. And the more you can bring that to the table, you'll eventually have access to capital and you can position yourself and be the investor because capital is out there. There's more capital in the world right now than deals and the right people to handle that money. And I'm telling you, because if you have the right deal, you'll find the money if you're resourceful. It's more about being resourceful than having the resources nowadays. Because when you're committed, I believe that when someone is committed, you'll find a way. It's first of all about making that commitment with yourself and with the people around you to show them that you're committed to the deal. Because when you raise capital, unless you're willing to risk something of your own, either time or your own money or your own personal guarantee that you sign, then perhaps the deal isn't good enough as much as you think. Think about it. If you have a deal right now that you want to do, your own business that you want to buy or someone to invest in, are you showing those investors that you're willing to put some skin in the game, that you're willing to put your time, your money, your personal guarantees, and the more you're willing to put in a skin in the game, the more they'll trust you. Because the more committed you are, the more someone else will be committed than you. And that's what would be my biggest suggestion for you. So if you want to become an investor, guys, it's not about money. It's about who you are as a person. In the end of the day, in the business world, you want to be successful. It's about who you become as a person. And the more you grow as a person and the more you have that certainty and influence on others because you have that certainty in what you're doing and the belief in what you're doing, you'll see money won't be a problem and then you'll be able to invest in whatever deals you want. But first, you gotta grow as a person, you gotta have the right context, the right experience, the right knowledge and know-how on how to invest in those businesses and then finding that money to do those deals won't be a problem. So I hope you got some value here today. If you wanna learn more into the details A to Z on how some of my clients are doing that, how they're basically going out there and buying other businesses, using other people's money, and how they then have management team in place to run the day to day so they can then step back, have a better lifestyle or just go out there and do more deals. We're gonna put links below this video, so check it out. And if you didn't yet subscribe to the channel because it really, really helps me with the growth of this channel and I really, really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what you think. Like this video and share it with others if you think that they're gonna get some value from this and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got anything out of it. Um, I'm sure that I would hope that I had such a video many, many years ago. So I hope some of you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll see you soon.